Hello, hello, hello! What is up, my 28 viewers? In this video, I'm going to be going on a tour of this server, a review before it resets. Just to give you a rundown of what I've experienced on the server, so that you know that, and so that you know what might be coming up next season of the server. I believe this is season nine. For you guys, this is just episode one. For me, this is like episode 599 because I only just now got to recording it. So let's get into this. So this is Spawn. This is the main Spawn Island that uh, another YouTuber, Iron Traveler, made. put probably the most creative vision I have ever seen in. and also that is his escape to this uh, server before it resets yeah that's going to leave the universe and go on to the next season hermitcraft style moving on to the actual spawn So this is his house, pretty nice house. Over here, this is like the prime path, you could call it. That's the dock, it's got some interesting things going on for it. Don't know what it means, but we'll see. This is pretty much main spawn, where all the all the goings on of the server happens. There's this chest monster. There's this shop that sadly had to close down. And all the way over here is the tree farm. Past that is. I think that might be Top's house. I'm not sure. Over here, this is just some random hidden base in the mountain. It's got a pretty nice interior. Moving on. And lots to explore, and not much time to do so. Also, yes, the server is restarting in about a week, but my vessel is not nearly as quick as Iron's, so. I'm gonna need to go as early as possible. This is the TARDIS orphanage where just a bunch of um, ownerless TARDISes exist. It's owned by, by a person named Average Helper. Lag. Continuing on. Oh, there's a house I forgot. All the way over here is one second is Red's house. It's a pretty nice house. It's, it gives me lots of mansion vibes. It's very dark, but it's a very nice house. All right, now to my TARDIS and all of its waypoints. I'm, a, I'm going to explore the TARDIS first, and then show you all my waypoints. Alright. So, this is my TARDIS. It's specifically chosen from its exterior, being sort of futuristic. This is my very first farm that I ever had and set up it's been pretty successful and it's helped me quite a bit. Never got to replanting this. But yeah. Don't question the hum in the background, that's normal. Over here is my main storage where I put everything. It's highly unorganized, but 
I like to call it organized chaos. With all my things. Moving on to this room. This room is my villager training hall. With every villager I could physically get with very good enchants. Capacity like 3. Double tap 3. Efficiency 5. Capacity 1. Just a bunch of stuff. Also, I have an iron farm connected straight above it. And that's also been going very well. Up here, this is my air shine. And this is an empty storage room. I only use two storages. This room and, and the main console room. And this was my very first storage. A lot more organized. Still, I don't know this, but better. I've got a lot of stuff in here. This is an ARS tree, which is pretty much materials that your furnace provides for you. It's very handy and it's helped me in almost every single build I've had. Except for one, but we ignore that one. Until I show you later. Up here is my science room. I haven't done much science, but I do not really care. It's just been here. This is my main library. I get a lot of books from here. I've done almost nothing with the room except for back here, which holds my enchanting table. Maxed out and all. Very good. In here. Probably my favorite type of hallway, the cave hallway. This is a bedroom, and there's a lot of these that are exactly the same, but it's cozy. Moving on. This is a storage room I can use. Now here is... Ah, 
let's ignore that. Another storage room. Over in here. Oyster bell room. There we go. That's a bell. This is a sacrificial room where I sacrifice my enemies to the flames of the TARDIS. And over here is another extra cult room. I have a lot of these, weirdly. And over in here is my AI room. Don't question the design. The design is definitely not a reference, but yeah, it makes fun noises. Yeah. Also, you can talk to it if you put a note in. Just, I recommend not. It's kind of evil, but I have it in my clutches. On to over in here. This is my honey room. This is where I eh, this is where I get all my honeycomb to oxidize my copper. No, wax my copper, not oxidize. I do that normally. And here is my farm room. Lots of wheat and other herbs. This is where I get my my food source. Very close. All right. And yeah, it's pretty much got an unlimited amount of wheat. Lots of wheat. Man, I love the create mod. I think it's the storage room. Down here is an unused um, farm room. Over here is another unused farm room with two bedrooms and pool number two. It's got a lot of uh, coral in it. Not sure why, but yeah. All the way around. Down here is another Empty farm room. More empty farm rooms with storage in them. This is the main bedroom. Cross hallway. And in here is pretty much the same thing except for this, which is useless. a bit more interesting. It's a zigzag hallway, which goes straight into this, um, this room with storage. Useless storage. I've got too much storage. More storage, more storage. Air S tree. And... More storage. More storage, and another ARS tree. All right, and moving on is more storage, lots of storage, and another ARS tree. I've got a lot of these, cannot have enough. Got some redstone. Just very repetitive console room, but I'm fine with it. Finishing the, uh, the herb rooms 
is this room. My honest favorite room. It's the Create Mod Creations room. Where it has machines like this one, which can turn coal into black dye. Double black dye. Which means one coal plus this machine equals two black dye. Very useful. This is just the machine that I use to turn copper and zinc into brass. This is a crusher machine. And that's all for that room. This is my high-tech library. Nothing very much going on here. Another pool slash library. I don't have very, eh, very much interesting going on inside my TARDIS, but I do have it filled. Oh, this, eh, this is a completely new room, which is my regeneration room, or the zero room, which if I'm in regeneration proce uh, process, I stand in the middle of here, and then I just start floating. Fun. More redstone. Got lots of redstone. Over in here, another bedroom. ARS tree. And that's all. And I believe that's almost everything inside my TARDIS. Pretty much. Yeah, that is my TARDIS. Moving on to my, my waypoints. I've got a lot of these. First is Clever Crafter's Base. Another friend of mine, she she doesn't really record videos. She's sort of the mom of the server. She's a moderator, and if we ever need help, she is there. So let's check her. So let's check out her base. She's not been on in a, in a while, but she has done quite a bit here. So this is Clever Crafter's base. It's got a lot of stuff going on. Lots of villagers. She tried making a villager trading hall over here. I think it worked pretty well. She's got some nice villagers with good trades. Like Loyalty 3, Aqua Affinity, all that stuff. Also in here, she's got a Death Strider. And here is her farmer's market. Got lots of wheat that people can usually just steal from, but useful. Over here is her sugarcane farm. Very extensive. You can get lots of sugarcane. And very lit up. Don't want moths on here. Now to let's see what the next place is. Sorry, my time to eh, to leave the server is nearing. Ah, my space station. I'm gonna need to call my space suit for this one. It's very cool. Also, don't question the massive stick people on the thing. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I, I was probably having my at that time. But, the rest of Alright, we're here. This might be one of my favorite builds I've been able to do. It's very cool. In my opinion. Just depends on the person who views it. 
this is my space station. It's not have very much in it, but it'll do quite well for fuel when I'm gone. It's just the first level. Second level is here. It's got more rooms. Very empty rooms, but rooms. But, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Just to give you a full 360 of the place. It's got very slim parts, and you'll see why later. is the cool part. This is what I built. The outside is the climax of the whole ship. Yeah, out of my grain uh, uh, when I made those. I don't think I was okay, but don't question them. But think about rest of this thing. It's epic. It's massive. It's a huge donut with a donut in the middle. And the donut center in the middle of those two. Yeah. Gotta love the donut. Moving on. Also, yes, there will be a world download um, where uh, where I will just in creative be going everywhere and just be looking around seeing if I missed anything alright moving on let's go to My swamp slash squid farm. My circuits hate me. It's fine. They'll survive the trip. Alright, it looks like we're here. So, let's check this thing out. There's not much going on here, but I shall show you to my greatest ability. First, I shall sleep. Alright. So, this is my failed squid farm. Also, a creeper blew up, and I did not have enough materials or time to fix it. So, yeah. The squids spawn here. They fall down onto this and the loot falls into these hoppers which go into these chests clearly it didn't do very much for me three stacks of ink with a bunch of other fish didn't need it eh, didn't need that little so yeah i kind of gave up on it One second. Just climbing up this wall. Alright. And yeah. Also, the swamp part is over here, past the drained river, all the way here. This is where I got all my slime to make glue. was a very useful biome. That's all I can say about it. Didn't really use it that much, but yeah. Alright, moving on. 
I believe the next one might be in space. I don't know. Let's find out. And over here, my TARDIS. My Enderman farm. Perfect. This is actually perfect for my circuits. They could use a bit of a healing after everywhere that I've gone. Alright, we're here. Let's check this place out very slowly because last time I was here, I had a lot more risk of accident. Let's just quickly heal my circuits. I better not die now. circuits in. Let's put everything back. Alright. Continuing on. Main End Island. This place has almost, yeah, pretty much two memories. Killing the Wither setting up my Enderman farm. One with more uh, uh, one was more traumatic than the other. Bet you can guess which one. It was the farm. I died so many times. I lost blood, sweat and tears building this uh, uh, building that thing. The wither it was easy as cake. Everything else is pretty much generic and station. Oh yeah, this is the glitched um, configured hut. That was a weird one. There. Alright. Now let's check this place out. It's a very odd one. It's literally a hut. A random hut in space. Also, yeah, that's Earth. Or Castro. Uh, I remember assigning Iron Traveler to make something out of it, maybe a space gas station. Guess he just kinda forgot. That's fair. 
maybe I'll build a, 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 a in the world download. I think I can create a sub series. That's just me finishing every, every project that I set out to finish. Ah, my desert. There's generally nothing here, but let's just take a look. Alright, we are here. Sorry if the sound turned off, it's kind of glitchy. It just randomly goes mute. Can't figure out why, but yeah. Let's look at this. First, sleep. Alright. So this is just where I get sand. Lots of sand. Tis a desert. Of course there's sand. But this has supplied me with pretty much all the sand I've ever needed in the server. Very useful. Don't have anything else to say about this place. So let's move on. To... Underwater mega base. Oh, this this place is honestly my favorite. Second to my space station. To my largest build to ever attempt. Emphasis on attempt. I couldn't finish it in time, but I made very good progress. bad I couldn't get anything finished from it, but I will give you a 360 view of it. As you can see, I made very, very good progress. All I needed to add was the Dark Prismarine for the roof and these spaces in the middle. Then it would have been done, but sadly that's not how it was meant to happen. Here, this is like the main water elevator, which goes to each level. That's what those are. But yeah, I did quite a bit with this place. Couldn't get anything finished, but I can at least say I tried. Moving on from the tragedy of a build that this is. Also, I plan on finishing this on the world download. So expect another video of me just having a time lapse of, <laughs> of me just building. Space Station. This one is actually naturally spawned. It's got just a bunch of crew members. They're, of course, NPCs because I couldn't get any actual people to just stay there for eternity. And there's 
and there's some loot, there's a science room, there's some airlocks, and it looks relatively like um, the International Space Station. So yeah, it looks very cool. And I'm excited to show you. Alright, and we're here. This is my all-time favorite space station because it had the best loot. Let's check this place out. So, this is just a generic space station. Looks sort of like the International Space Station, but a bit different, if you know what I mean. But yeah, there's nothing much going on. Also, don't go too far down there or you will die. There is just this massive hallway it goes full 360. This area is a science area. There's just random stuff going on here. You'll see the crew members later. Over here, there's nothing out there. All the way over here, is the escape pod room. You enter into here, you press a button, and you launch. It doesn't actually work that way, but yeah. This is the main control room where all the NPCs are. The four NPCs are, yeah. The rest of the crew kind of died due to an invasion of their own, uh, like, droids, so they all had to pack in here. Going on. This place is quite boring. Let's go to... tried to shoot at me last time I was here. Guess its chunks weren't loaded and the fireball just now hit me. Nice. So, this over here is my wither skeleton farm. Yeah, I'm just gonna get out of here before I get shot at. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Not my favorite place, but decently good at doing what it's meant to do. Also, I got all my netherite from there. Now this, this is where Take a look. look. I kind of uh, took the design from uh, from a, a Sumas, uh, a Suma Boys uh, Guardian Farm designs. Most of it is his design, except except for all that up here. Pretty much except for this massive tower. It, his thing was for Skulk, actually. He made a very, very good Skulk farm. Props to him on that one. But this, 
this is just for all the charisma that I have ever needed in any of my builds. If I need Prismarine, I go here. One second. I gotta get my pickaxe. This is not how it goes. Alright. But yeah, this is where I get lots of the materials for my underwater builds. Also, this black dye is from all the coal that I've turned into black dye. This chest is full of random stuff, which is full of shulker boxes filled to the brim with raw cod. And just look at this. This is insane. Like, the amount of prismarine and shards and raw cod that I've gotten from this, it's filled almost half of my storage system. But yeah, that's what's been going on in there. And this is uh, my moon base. Ah, here we go. All right, it looks like we're here. Also, the, uh, probably the last thing we're going to explore is Iron Travelers. Uh, the vessel. But yeah, let's check this place out. This is my uh, my moon lander base thing. It's got nothing much going for it. It's just cozy. Let's take a look at the outside. This is a very decent design. I've seen some others, but this was the most roomy and my favorite. Haven't done much with it, but it's just been my main moon hub. Moving on to, I believe it's my home, my first build that I ever did. Let's see. Yep, it's my home. This one shouldn't take too long. I mean, shouldn't take too long to get to. Three, two, one. All right, let's check this place out. Got some chests, very empty chests. My first ender chest. Also empty because the server is about to restart in like a week. But this is my very first house. It's got three dogs, a very long table, a bed, three chests, and three crafting tables. Seems like a weird trend, but yeah. I've also got three towers and three, oh, four dogs, man. But I do have man, two cows. But what I do have is three chickens. And three wheat spots. And three sugarcane stocks. 
time start to see a trend. Also, yeah, that's where my mind starts. I won't show you anything from there because that'll take another two hours and I don't have that kind of time. This is my mining pit. Originally, I was trying to make it slime farm, but then I realized that it's not a slime chunk, so I just turned it into my mining chunk. Didn't do much with it, but yeah. Going on and off into my TARDIS to check out Iron Traveler's space vessel as the last thing that I'm going to do. This is the Nether Hub that Iron Trapper made. It's honestly very cool. Like, the detail he put into this massive portal in this north, south, east, west, uh, west doorway. It's insane. Props to him on his creativity. On to the final place. The one and only Iron Traveler's vessel. I've honestly never seen a vessel like it. Like, I I've never seen anybody build a vessel like it. Oh! <laughs> one more thing before that. We've got. His mob farm. Now this, this has been very useful for all the <laughs> for all the fire rockets for my wings, which I sadly lost. But this place has been probably the best mob farm I've seen in a very long time. Props to Iron Traveler on building that also. See if I can get his attention to show me the inside of his vessel. I believe his machine is right here, yeah. I really should have set uh, waypoints in there. Still got a lot left to do. Hope you can finish it before the server blips. Maybe he's in his house. You know what? I'm just going to explore his TARDIS until I find him. to explore space reality vessel before it's too late.
Oh. I guess I'm just gonna go. He'll get a few laughs out of um, being caged in glass. This is just taking too long, and apparently he AFKs for hours. So I'm gonna just go and wrap up my tour and I guess leave. Let's do this. Just gotta get outside of his TARDIS. the generic rocket design but it should work once you see the inside now let me explain all of these mechanics inside first this here in the center is the core, the core energy source of this vessel, my rocket, which connects this conduit, which pretty much holds things together with its shell, make sure that even if it crashes, it stays in decent shape. Next is this energy source which holds a commanding arch which pretty much regenerates the AI whenever it runs out of energy and dies it regenerates the AI to continue this is the TARDIS engine and this is the TARDIS engine of course these antipearls are so that it has the capability of pretty much teleportation these data crystals hold all the information of maps around the universe. And these enchanting books are just for um, at, uh, raw energy. Landing pads are so that it has good aim. Redstone, because redstone is just a good energy source. The gold is because the gold is glamorous. Also, I just hold it. I just hold my diamonds here. And as you can see, it is very clearly connected to the core. Over here is my handy hand, 100% charged. Trait energy, uh, trait is quick, so that my vessel can be relatively quick. Clearly connected to my core. And finally, I believe, is this TARDIS door. It is um, meant to power um, pretty much reality jumping, seeing as a TARDIS door very easily moves you through realities so if I ever need to go to, uh, to a different reality to avoid something 
uh, that, which is also connected to the core. And all these exon crystals that are on the floor are just for raw energy, just to keep it up. And finally, second to finally, is this um, spinny thing. It pretty much selects um, the destination that the AI um, chooses, and it goes there. And finally, seeing as the AI, if you if you don't remember before, is the Grumbot inside my TARDIS. We will see that very soon, seeing as this thing is very clearly connected to this one single spot, which connects to the spinny thing. And up here, Random runes, and here is the bridge where I sit up here and look majestic, leaving the planet. Let's get my TARDIS in here now. Once everything's all hooked up, I will start the launch sequence. Uh, uh, launch sequence. Alright, let's go. Quickly before the mobs kill me. Let's do this. Oh, and while it's doing that whole materialization process, I bet you were wondering about this whole power line thing. Yeah, this entire thing connects directly, no wireless, to my super advanced AI, which is all the way in here. So yeah, that is that. We have come to a mutual agreement. If, if he gets me where I want, I will give him a free armor stand as a body, and he can roam. Looks like we're there. All right. Looks like we're all set. All things connected. All right. Time to put on the brakes for my TARDIS itself so that it doesn't leave. And wait, what's that? Oh. This is my very high Archon capacity. I have pretty much unlimited energy. Actually, while I set up the whole launching process, I'm going to have it recharging, seeing as its energy is my rocket's energy. And 
this looks about right. Let me just put all my things in a chest. just put some of this random junk in my TARDIS, then we'll start the launch sequence. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below of how you thought the video went. Three, two, one, lift off. Three, two, one, lift off. Computer, activate warp sequence. Why? Because. But why? If you want to survive. But. Do you want to die? Fine. Thank you.